from when uh, ever since he came into the league he's just been a chase god so uh, at this point it's just kind of to be expected of him to be honest <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Odomne and today I'm gonna be going over some of the greatest Jace plays of all time sent over by you, the fans, so let's get into it. I mean, man, this is actually just peak Jane's gameplay. This is crazy because this is, he did everything so, so right. This whole sequence from here, he never swapped to, to hammer because a lot of time we see a lot of Jace's whenever their, their Q and E and W is on cooldown in, in a ranged form, in like cannon form, they, they decide to swap because yeah, they have access to more damage by sweeping forms and they're not comfortable to, with just sitting there and auto attacking constantly. They they just want to swap and get out as much as damage as possible. When in reality, the best the best place to just sit there and abuse the fact that you're ranged because we, we can see that he's just playing at the outskirts of the fight so well. He's using the limits of his champion so well. And he knows that in this situation, if he would like like now it's a kind of a decent opportunity for him to swap to, to to hammer form and get out a good burst and kind of get out of the fight but then he's restricted by cooldowns and he can't swap back to ranged and he would just be stuck but now he even though all his spells are on cooldown he just decides to to play out attacks and just wait for a better opportunity to to clean up with hammer he just knows everything he could do in this play and i felt like he played it so well he used all his cooldowns so well he did not waste a single spell on anyone. Yeah, overall, just just a great play. If I had to, if I had to rank this one, then I mean, it's hard because this is the bit. The, this is the the first play, but I feel like this is I I cannot put any this anywhere else than SSS. This is top tier Jay's performance so far. He did not make a single mistake in that clip. Everything, even if I could if I could look at this clip over and over again, everything was just. Played so perfectly he hit everything he didn't miss anything his positioning was great and he just made the, the best out of the champion in that situation it was it was great so him coming into the league and making the champion work bringing something new to the top lane was something i think very refreshing for for top lane i feel like he inspired a lot of players even pro players with his with his jace pick it kind of gave people confidence to do to do something else and when i was at worlds against him i didn't get to to play against his jays but i do feel like 2017 when he whipped out the jays it was kind of prime jays where the champion was also maybe at its at the strongest it was pretty strong um last year as well but it wasn't nearly as strong and as dominant as it used to be a couple of seasons ago or is he gonna start bot side we will see I think we're gonna get a late invade here from G2. I mean, Jace is very strong in the late invades, and maybe they know Adam's here. And Yankos quite easily could step forward here. Adam might have to burn the flash. Hammer coming out. Flash in for Broken Blade. Counter yes, flash conquer. from Adam. Conqueror. Range. One more auto. Adam first blooded by Broken Blade. Yeah, so well played by Broken Blade. He flashes forwards first because then he knows if Adam flashes away, he might not be able to gap close. Gets the Conqueror with his melee form, swaps into ranged and takes the kill. Now, Yankos is hovering around. Adam's going to fight Broken Blade back here. And Broken Blade does have pots, but it's a Dorans into a longsword. Broken Blade uses the transformation to get a bit of extra movement speed. And with Yankos coming around the corner, Adam has to back away. But he is keeping Broken Blade away from this oh. wave. Ranged form once again will force it's, Adam. He's got no pots. It's digital. a horror. It's an absolute horror. He's dead. Oh my god. It's an absolute disaster in the top lane. It's two kills before a single creep medic. <laughs> he has no TP. Yeah. Yeah. This was uh this was a mess. Um I know he played he played it great. The spacing was great. I feel like he utilized everything he could out of uh out of his runes. Time warp made a big difference in this this play. And honestly, Jace was supposed to win this level one super hard against Irelia. I feel like Irelia is making a huge mistake here. Uh, this whole sequence. Um Irelia should start winning this matchup later on at like level two, three. Uh, 
I just don't think uh, Irelia should be doing this. But this flash here was really great. This flash was great because it ensures that it doesn't ensure only like an extra auto attack, but it also ensures that he gets conqueror stacks because if you use conqueror in melee, you get more stacks. And I feel like he played it great. And now this next solo kill is Irelia blunders, obviously, but he plays it very well because if he doesn't get this auto spacing here, I feel like. He doesn't kill him because I really should just disengage the trade here and just run. But Irelia is greeting for some reason, even though Poppy's around. But now this spacing here gives him enough time to be able to swap forms back into range and chase him down. Overall, overall, pretty good play. He outplayed him in this uh, situation pretty hard. But I wouldn't say it's, you know, top tier Jace gameplay. For that situation, it's a level 1 and we didn't really see anything else out of the kit and stuff. So, when I compare it to Khan's play, I, I would maybe put it in like, in B tier. Not because it's bad or anything, or it's not great, it's just... I feel like this is just basic champion mechanics. And not only for Jace, but for like any champion. He just played the situation good, but it's not really a pop of Jace, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the best J skin is. It's I I'm pretty sure that he's playing the Arcane J skin because he just loves Arcane, like, like all of us do. Uh, and it was also a new a new skin. Personally, my favorite is Full Metal Jace. Um, but I know everyone kind of has his own preference. I I, I feel like all of the J skins are so similar. There's not a clear standout for me. And it mostly just goes on on moods because for me I alternate between uh, Jace Bright Hammer and Full Metal Jace. I kind of like Full Metal Jace because it's a bit uh, a bit retro. But Jace Bright Hammer is probably the flashiest one. I see some debonairs as well. I see some debonair Jaces as well. But I feel like some of the animations are smooth. Some of the animations are a bit clunky. So overall, uh, I'm staying with Full Metal Jace. Something to do with Blue's late game here, bringing that type of siege from the top lane. Our which shock is last year would hurt so badly. There it is, actually hits Acorn as well. Are they going to yeah, be able to get in? That is big. This is real danger. Dade is big. That's a kill. That was what? not good. The quick hit Bad. over. This Acorn is goes down. Dragon goes to Pawn. Pawn gets another one. What in the world is happening right now? Where does he get out? Oh no, he dies. Oh man. Okay, let's watch it. Let's watch it again, because I, 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 nostalgia hit me a bit on this one. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if he's doing more damage or the or the dragon is doing more damage. But his damage, his damage dealt was actually pretty high. But it's it, it's in a way nothing special. He he has this nice EQ on the. The combo is great as well. He did Q first and then E, and for 2014. I don't think anyone was doing this, honestly, because when I went to Worlds at 2016 and I had my good Jace performances, I was not doing QEs because I did not really know of this. So this, in 2014 to do QE, I think this is one of those things that no one notices back then. No one noticed that this is actually a great combo until, you know, nowadays where people just see it as, as common. So I'm actually very surprised that he used this all the way back then but overall it was a pretty pretty basic jace play i wouldn't say it's it was it was anything great dragon kind of gave him a hand there i would put it in uh i would put it in c tier to be honest because realistically he just hit he just hit the qe and then he he just cleaned up and then flashed into trade one for one i don't feel like it was uh anything special but although he he did the QE which no one did back in 2014 so it, it feels I'll bump I'll bump BB to A tier and put him in B tier I feel like putting him in C tier is so undeserved given the fact that he did the proper Jace combo when no one else was doing it I'm pretty sure <laughs> oh man it's it's really satisfying uh, I think I only stole Baron one time one time in my career, I think it was um, it was an IEM. It was IEM World Championships. I think it's 2015 December. It was IEM, and I was playing against Cloud9, and I play. I was playing Shen top, and I think I think Rush was the jungler for Cloud9, uh, the kind boy. But I, I'm not sure if I'm mistaken or not. But I just walked into the Dragon Pit with Shen, and I just auto attacked the Nasher, and I stole it. With the old Shen, so it was. It's such a rare occurrence, but it feels like such a big, 
such a big win for you because you it, it kind of feels like you did the impossible, you know? Unit and right now that two man unit is looking for Khan. Uh oh, he's gonna be just clearing out this wave and he hops forward. Does have his flash available, but already the fast body slam. He's waiting for the flash here out of Khan to put that cast, but he puts it down and now Khan is all alone, 1v2. Trying to hop on over with that flash and with the slow, he make it away, but here comes Pawn. They're looking for the dive, three members trying to go under this turret. There's the flash stun, there's the burst damage, but slow! Wow. He gets killed under turret! No, no Stun is forced to flash away and Khan gets away! What the hell? How did he just win 1v3? Holy, what? That was ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> wow. It, it's so hard because I'm looking at this play and I'm just seeing, uh, in, in hindsight right now, there's there's three tanks trying to kill the Jace. And the Jace is incredibly tanky for some reason, but I thought that surely they could kill him. But I guess the Renekton doesn't have rage in this play. I mean, Renekton should prop should proc his ult a bit earlier. I think if Renekton uh, has a big W here, he could maybe they could maybe kill. But he played it very good. Like he did not panic at all. His he flashed pretty late as well because uh, he correctly identified that when they engage on him, Renekton doesn't have rage at all, and they won't have damage to kill him. Um, not a lot of uh, players would flash this late into the play. And I think he played it. Uh, he played it very well. Like mechanically, he did very great. He used all his spells correctly. He dodged a lot of spells as well. He fl he even dodged the Renekton Q with his flash. Uh, it's just overall great play. I mean, it's just at, at this point, it's just Khan. This guy is just uh, he's kind of the OG god of Jace from when uh, ever since he came into the league, he's just been a Jace god. So. Uh, at this point, it's just kind of to be expected of him, to be honest. I mean, I guess it's an S tier because he dodged a lot and he played the situation very, very well. The the play with Broken Blade was a bit more simple. It also did have outplay in terms of auto spacing and stuff. But I do feel like uh, this should be all the way up here. I think he did great in this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in those situations, I, I'm the kind of guy that just... After the play is over, I'm like... Holy f I, I live that, and and that was and that's it. I don't really like to get loud and yell because I feel like that's a bit distract distracting for my teammates and also creates kind of random chaos. And but in a way, it's also like super hype. I haven't been in a play in like a high stakes game. That I mean, if it would happen in the final, maybe I would be popping off super hard. But if it's like a regular season game like this one, I wouldn't really. You know, say much. I'd maybe like trash talk the enemy team a bit. I would be like sit down or something like that. You know, but I wouldn't get uh, I wouldn't get super loud. It's not really it's not really my thing. All Facebook users, right. Instagram users, mm -hmm. but <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, this is amazing! You have won player of the game. Thank you so much. This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> mentioned how this champion has been his most played throughout the tournament, but it seems like the nerves are getting the better of him. Oh, Here God. in the semifinals, as the Shy will get the better of Wonder once again. World Ender going to be used, keeping Wonder alive. The Shy trying to disengage now, but instead... Oh, this, oh, is oh, round. this man is a monster, and Perks will be beaten down. He actually kills him with the W AOE, but the damage was done earlier. Secondary member goes out. How many bad guys do you need to take down the Shy? Mid lane, maybe Perks is lane king, but the top lane belongs to the Shy. Oh, I remember this play. This, this play was sick. Oh, man, the, that juke. Oh, man, that juke. But he is so strong. I saw this live and I was like, whew. You just don't expect something like that, but in retrospect, uh, Diarrhea is just so squishy, but things you see these plays only out of players that just have so much confidence, because the thing is, he's not even trying to run, he's turning to fight. He, he's, he's, he's holding his ground here. The sidestep was so crazy, and he kind of just played that perfectly, because he's not standing still with W or anything, he's just weaving autos and moving all the time, and he's not even wasting time, he's doing it so fast, that he's kind of just abusing the fact that his auto attacks are having a cooldown even though they're at max uh, at max speed so that was a crazy one that was a crazy one as well but if i would have to rank it i would put it 
Oh. I, I would put it S tier as well. I would put it S tier. It's kind of different than uh, Khan's other play. But this one is... It's good and it's flashy in its own way. I mean, for me, the best GIS players kind of go back all the way all the way back to 2016 because right now when i went to world at 2000 in 2021 i even though i played against two great top players in khan and nuguri none of them played jace and i didn't get to experience it and you know even in scrims and stuff like that i didn't play against great chase players i would say i think smev uh, in 2016 when when we played he was a, he was a pretty good jace player he was a great jace player as well and duke as well uh, i didn't get the chance to play him in an official game but in scrims when he was on uh, skt he had great jace performances as well uh, for me these two are the best ones that i played against but um for me there's not a doubt that gun is uh was or is still is better than uh than these two at uh, at this champion Thank you so much guys for watching me rank these Jace plays. Make sure to comment below with your thoughts if you change anything, if I did great or not. And I hope I see you guys all next time.